In this quick fix, I'm going to show you how to replace the cord on your DeWalt DW708 miter saw. We'll get started by removing the old cord. On the back of the saw, the cord is held in place with a strain relief. I'll remove that first. Next, we'll remove this cord clip that secures the cord to the saw body. The cord passes through the upper handle and is underneath this cover. I'll remove it next. Next, I'll remove the top half of the front handle starting with these four screws. And now the three screws at the rear of the handle. With the top half of the handle out of our way, we now have access to the cord wires. We have the black wire that comes down to the switch and the white wires that are secured with a wire nut. I'll start by removing the switch and then the black wire from the switch. Now I can go ahead and remove the wire nut, securing the two white wires together. Now I can go ahead and remove the cord from the saw. Now we can go ahead and install the new cord. I'll start by just threading it back into the saw. At this point, you'll likely need to strip back some of the insulation on the new cord so that your black wire is long enough to go around to the switch. Looks like I need to remove about an inch and a half. I'll carefully score the wire with my knife, being careful to not cut the wires on the inside of that cord. Now I can go ahead and insert the new cord into the lower part of the handle. And then I'll route the cord through the upper handle. The cord needs to go behind the motor wires, so it goes in first. At this point, I'll reinstall the screw that secures the lower handle. Now we can go ahead and rewire things in the handle. I'll start with the white wire. First I need to cut it to length, and then I'll strip the end, and reattach the two white wires with a wire nut. And tuck that back down into the handle. Now we'll move on to the black wire. 
The first thing I want to do is just make sure that it is long enough to get to our switch, and it is. Now I need to put a new terminal on the end of the wire. So first I'll go ahead and strip back some of the insulation. Then I'll take my terminal, I insert the wire into the terminal, and then crimp the upper portion around the wire. The lower portion of the terminal gets crimped around the wire insulation. Now I can install the black wire back onto the switch. Now I'll re-secure the switch with its screw. And tuck the wires back into the handle. Now I'll go ahead and reinstall the upper half of the handle. Now I'll reinstall the upper handle cover. Now I'll reinstall the cord clip. I slide it onto the cord and then pull any slack that's in the cord out before attaching the clip to the body of the saw. And last, I'll reinstall the strain relief. First, I'll pull any slack that's in the cord out. Then I slide the relief onto the cord and use a pair of pliers to clamp it together. Then I can slide the whole assembly into the saw body.